Hello everyone, thank you for joining us in our prayer this afternoon. I trust that you are well. I trust that you are well. I trust that you are well. This is this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I trust that you are so well. Glory to God. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I trust that you are well. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're joining from. Pastor Mo just joined the prayers. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're joining from. Oh, glory to God. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're joining from. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're joining from. How is the fasting going? I know that the day, the last few days of the fasting can be quite challenging. I want to remind you, 25th, we start Wine Press Conference right here. It would hold in Lekki, Landmark, it would hold in Bagada, it would hold in Antony, it would hold in Ikeja, simultaneously all across the place in Abuja and Ibadan. So all of you that can join it down here, you have the option to watch Wine Press in the different locations. And also it will be online. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Joshua, it's nice to see you online. Thank you all of you that are joining in. Please inform your friends that we're about to start praying. I'm going to read from our devotion on, and I'm reading page 19. Someone says, oh wow, that was a big jump. You know, we're reading page 19. All of you that would love to join the small groups um, all across the world, the NLP groups, the Harvesters group, you know, so on, so what's the difference? The NLP group just focuses um, on creating a prayer community for those that join NLP, while the Harvesters group actually are the people that believe that this is their church, but they're away from a school location and they want to gather, they want to fellowship, they want to pastor over them. So you can indicate, send me a message and tell me the one you want to join today. Glory to God. All right, all right, and all right. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. How to turn your faith loose. How to turn your faith loose. I want us to read a scripture that we read. Um, if you did if you didn't watch the midweek service yesterday, you missed a whole lot. You should go and watch it. So we're going to read the scripture and just pray before we do that. You know, help me tell your friends. Let me share the link. Let me tell your friends that hey. Let me tell your friends, some of the watch we are praying right now, they need to go ahead and join the prayer. They need to go ahead and join the prayer. They need to go ahead and join the prayer. All right, Acts chapter 4, in verse 7, the Bible says this, And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power, by what name have you done this? And Jesus and Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done of the impotent man, by what means he is done, be it known to all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ, whom you crucified, whom God had raised from the dead, even by him is this done. So basically, um, today, how to turn your faith loose. Looking at the account of the impotent man at Lystra that received his healing, we saw that the man had the word of God. He believed the word of God. He received faith and acted by limping and walking. So how do you turn your faith loose? Three things, by hearing the word of God. And that's why in Next Level Prayers, we just make sure that the scriptures is at the forefront of our prayers. We hear in the word of God. Glory to God. Hearing the word of God. But when you hear the word of God, that's not enough. You must believe the word of God. You must believe the word of God. And the other thing is you must receive by acting on the word of God. Praise God. I love the people that are going an extra mile and put in the comment section, grace, 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 this is my story. Because there's something about when you say it, it's, cha it's life changing. There's something about when you say it, that it is life changing. If not written, grace, 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 this is my story. Go ahead and write it. Glory to God. So let's go ahead and type and confess with our mouth and say, grace, grace, grace. This is my story. Grace, grace, grace. This is my story. Grace, grace, grace. This is my story. We're going to start this. We're going to start today by really thanking God. Oh, glory to God. This is what you're going to thank God for. Father, thank you for giving me supporting relationships. Hallelujah. We want to thank him for that. As a business person, as a single person, as a married person, wherever you are, Lord, thank you for giving me supporting relationships. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord for that. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you because you are good. We thank you because you are kind. We thank you because you are faithful. You are a good God. You are a faithful Father. Father, we thank you because you are my Father. I have been redeemed. I have been 
birthed. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I have received of the gift of righteousness. I have been blessed with all blessings in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I'm blessed beyond the cost. Thank you because you are my father and I am your son. Thank you because I am your son. Thank you because the lines have fallen onto me in pleasant places. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, because you have given me supporting relationship. The Bible says you've given me all that pertains to life and godliness. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I want to thank you because you have given me supporting relationship. Father, I give you praise for this. Lord, I give you praise for this. Lord, I give you praise for this. You have given me supporting relationships. Oh God. Le boko shege le mendo kolorobo shambala makoro masangolo mata. Le me goroshe kele mazus e prakatana ma. Father, thank you for giving me supporting relationships where people do not have people to speak for them. Lord, I have someone. I thank you for giving me supporting relationships. Hallelujah. Father, I give you praise and glory, oh God, for giving me supporting relationships. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name name but pray i want us to read the scripture together psalm 142 psalm 142 in verse 7 psalm 142 in verse 7 this is what the bible says bring my soul out of prison that i may praise thy name the righteous shall compass me for the lord has thou has dealt bountifully with me the, the writer says the righteous people shall compass me because the lord has dealt bountifully with me we're going to give thanks father thank you for surrounding me with good and kind people thank you for surrounding me with good kind and helpful people oh glory to god i want someone to type that in the comment section father thank you for surrounding me with good kind and helpful people father in the name of the lord jesus christ i want to thank you because you have surrounded me with good people you have surrounded me with kind people you have surrounded me with helpful people thank you because in life you have surrounded me with good people with kind people with helpful people oh god you have surrounded me with with good people, with kind people, with helpful people. As a minister, you have surrounded me with good people, with kind people, with helpful people. In Abuja, you have surrounded me with good, with kind and helpful people. Oh through my journey in life, you have surrounded me. I wanted to say this and thank him. You have surrounded me with good, with kind and helpful people the bible says god will surround the righteous with good people oh lord thank you because you've dealt with me kindly you have surrounded me with good with helpful people right here in lagos right there in abuja right there in canada right there in johannesburg right there in kenya right there in mombasa right there in congo right there in accra you have surrounded me with good kind and helpful people you're surrounded with good and helpful people. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You're gonna give you're gonna thank God again. Father, thank you because all season, in all seasons I try. Glory to God. This is very powerful. Father, thank you because in all seasons I try. This is what the Bible says in Psalm 1 verse 3. The Bible says, I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bears its fruit in season. My leaves do not, do not fade. You are going to declare, Father, thank you. In all seasons, I tribe. In summer, I tribe. In winter, I tribe. In rainy season, I tribe. In dry season, I tribe. In all seasons, I tribe. I wanted to declare with you, my Father, thank you. Because in all seasons that I tribe, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all season is my season. Glory to God. Winter is my season. Summer is my season. Autumn is my season. Fall is my season. Dry season is my season. Rainy season is my season. Father, I thank you because in all season I I try. Father, once again, I thank you because you, Lord, made the seasons of God. And I thank you because in all seasons I try. Thank 
Kota Leva Shango Loroba Shanga Laba Yagada, Ebano Kopa Shanda Laba. Father, thank you because in all seasons I drive. Oh, Manto Kobroto Kongele Branca Paliga Shanda, Elegeton Rashis Kolomata, Elegeton Rashis Kolobron de Haya, Aligre Shujele, Elego Namen Sopaya, Abani Zuzini Matala, Ebaru Soson Rabata, E Ramasa Kapaya. All season is my season. In all season I drive. In the name of Jesus, Rabakumbe Shanta Bayaga. Abauma cobra to cabayaga, rapa de queshin de le boca payos, e mosque palamada, e gamana shadaye, e legapora maya, a bredo no mashagada, in all season I try, but in Jesus' name we pray, hallelujah. I'm declaring over you today that in all season that you thrive, that in all season that you thrive, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Sute, Lege, Peruske, Remande, Kiston de Lebandua, Apanes, Kutale, Bradina, Nakora, Sanzo. In all season that you thrive, every season works for you. No season works against you. Every season works for you. No season works against you. The wisdom of God is at work in you. The wisdom of God is at work in you. To know what to do in every season. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to declare with me. Say the wisdom of God is at work in me. Say the wisdom of God is at work in me. Say the wisdom of God is at work in me. Say the wisdom of God is at work in me. I know what to do. All season works for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The wisdom of God is at work in me. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the prayer you want to pray. That Lord, in this season, grant me access I do not qualify for. In this season, grant me access I do not qualify for. Let's go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant me access I do not qualify for. Father, grant me access I do not qualify for. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Zekete Brodona Mantos, Zekete Brodona Mante, Ramana Casto Bradale, Ramana Campola Mashanta. Lord, I receive access I do not qualify for. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I receive access I do not qualify for. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace of God grants me access that I do not qualify for. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Baleka Paya, Legina Supra. I receive access I do not qualify for by the power of the Holy Spirit. Access I do not qualify for. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray prayer. Father, let it be obvious you are supporting me. Father, let it be obvious that I have your support. Let it be obvious you are supporting me in my career, on my project, for my children. Let it be obvious you are supporting me. He said, This day will I make a difference between them and serve God and then accept me not. My God, Lord, let it be obvious that you are serving me. You are supporting me. You are supporting me. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Glory to God. Begin to declare. We have two more minutes. If you want to share the link with your friend, take a moment and begin to share with them. Take a moment and begin to share with them. Write in the comment section, Father, Father, let it be obvious that you are supporting me. Let it be obvious that you are supporting my project. Let it be obvious you are supporting our dreams. Let it be obvious you are supporting my family. Let it be obvious you are supporting my children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, let it be obvious you are supporting me. Makata, let it be obvious you are supporting me. Bakoshataya, let it be obvious. I'm praying for you today. It will be obvious to everyone around you that your support of God is upon your life. Let it be obvious to everyone that the Lord is supporting you. It will be obvious to everyone that the Lord is supporting your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We're going to read two scriptures and we're going to pray together. Oh, glory to God. Oh, my Father, let it be obvious they are supporting me. This is what the Bible says. Oh, yes. The Bible says this. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. God declares the end from the beginning. From the ancient times, the things are not saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do what I pleasure. Calling a ravenous bread from the east, 
and the man that will execute his cancer from the south. He says this. He said, yes, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it and I will, um, and will also do it. This is the prayer that the purpose and the counsel of God concerning my life, concerning my family to stand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year, the purpose of God and the counsel of God will not be postponed. The purpose of God and the counsel of God will not change. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and pray. I'm praying that the purpose of God for my life will stand. The purpose of God is that you strive. The purpose of God is that you do well. I'm praying that the purpose of God for your life will stand. It will not be denied. It will not be aborted. It will not be postponed. It will not be rejected. It will not be messed up in the name of jesus christ the purpose of god for your business will stand the plans of god for your finance will stand in the name of jesus christ i declare over you today that the purpose of god for your life will stand i declare the purpose of god for your business will not be denied in the name of the lord jesus christ the purpose of god the purpose of god for your life will not be aborted in the name of jesus christ the purpose of god for your life will not be messed up in the name of the lord jesus christ the purpose of god for your life will not be cut off <coughs> it will not be cut off in the name of jesus christ the purpose of god will not be cut off in jesus name we pray <coughs> in jesus name we pray this my prayer for you that the purpose of god for your life it will not be denied it will not be aborted it will not be messed up it will not be rejected it will not be cut off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The purpose of God for your life will not, uh, the purpose of God, it will not be denied. It will stand in Jesus' name. It will stand in Jesus' name. It will stand in Jesus' name. And the last scripture we're going to read is what we read today. What the Bible says this, it's a prayer going to pray for yourself. Lord, um, by your grace, I am at the right place at the right time. Glory to God. I don't jump ahead of destiny. I don't come late. That by the grace of God, I am at the right place at the right time. If you can write it, everybody, please write this in the comment section. I am at the right place at the right time. Grace makes me to be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the grace of God is making me to be in the right place at the right time, to be in the right conversation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not ahead of destiny. I'm not behind destiny. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I am at the right place at the right time, in the right conversation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, I am at the right place at the right time in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare right now, I am. Grace is moving me to be at the right place at the right time in the right conversation in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare this in Jesus' name. The grace of God is upon me. I am at the right place at the right time in the right conversation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My opportunities will not be taken over by somebody else. I am at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm in the right conversation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm praying over you today. But the grace of God, you will be at the right place, at the right time, in the right conversation. The grace of God will prompt you. The days of arriving too late and the opportunities are over. The days of arriving too early for the falling is over. From this hour, you'll be at the right place, at the right time, in the right conversation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, grace will prompt you. It will prompt you. Grace will prompt you. It will prompt you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Right in the comment section, grace has prompted me to be at the right place at the right time. Hallelujah. I'm in the right conversation. I'm at the right place at the right time. In the right conversation. At the right place at the right time. In the right conversation. Conversation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm at the right place at the right time. In the right conversation, in Jesus' name, we pray. Hey, man, thank you for joining the prayers today. If you want to, if you are, if one prayer starts next week, Hallelujah! Make sure you are there. And the other thing is, if you do not follow me and you're just joining the prayer on Instagram, go ahead and follow quickly. If you join the prayer on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. 
on Facebook. Go ahead and follow me on that channel. Glory to God. Congratulations because grace is prompting you. You are at the right place at the right time. If you if you want to join all of our groups in the US, anywhere you are in the world, our NLP group, Harvesters group, send me a DM. We would love to help you join that group. You are at the right place at the right time. Grace has prompted you. You, you will not be behind destiny. You will not be ahead of destiny. You are at the right place at the right time. At the right place at the right time. By the power of God. In Jesus' name. Concerning your contract, concerning marriage, concerning your finances, concerning your approvals, you will be at the right place at the right time in the right conversation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Share this with your friends. Tag your friend to watch it. Hallelujah. You are at the right place at the right time in Jesus' name. Your expectations will not be denied. It will not be aborted. It will not be rejected. It will not be messed up. It will not be cut off. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Congratulations. Congratulations. By prophetic hand, you are put in opportunities in your industry, in your city, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining again and God bless you mightily. Amen. I really thank you for joining. I can see you right there.